Hi, welcome back to Corsica Drones. So today we've got the Vizio Battle Sharks. So it's like the normal Vizio 809S, but this 809HW, sorry, but this is the 809S. So this has a longer flight time, around 18 minutes, and altitude holds. So let's have a look what you get in the box. So you get a user manual. It's actually very nicely boxed, this. You get the drone itself. You get the Vizio controller, very recognisable now. And then you get a bag of spares. So you get a spare set of props, some prop guards, and the all important screwdriver, and of course the charger. So, just put that lot down there out of the way. So, this is the drone itself. So, as you can see, it's very similar to the other Vizio, but it's got a slightly different design on the top, and obviously, it's got the shark's teeth at the front. It's got an adjustable camera. Now this is only the 720p camera version, so the video footage you're going to see at the end of this, you can't really gauge how good a camera is on this drill because this one's only got the low megapixel camera. So bear that in mind. So this is the drone itself. So the drone itself has a, so you can see the battery in the back there, let's get a focus on it if it'll focus. So a 1600 milliamp hour battery gives it the long flight time. I've flown this a few times now and I'm getting average about 12-13 minutes. Very fine, but I tend to fly it in speed mode 3 because it's much more responsive. Flight in mode war in speed mode 1, I'd imagine it's going to be much better. So the visual controller, typical visual controller, take off and land, emergency stop button, headless mode, return to home. Return to some general direction you're in. Three speed modes and three D flips. You'll see it in the video. I've flown it mainly in speed mode. So you can see how it flips. Controllers are alright. It's just a typical Vizio controller, so no better, no worse. And I prefer, I do prefer these to the ones that are trying to look like a DJI controller. If I'm being honest, your phone holds better, I think, in the top of one of these. Just feel better in your hand, to be honest. Short of some buttons there, which I think they've missed out. Missed the trick on, but apart from that, yeah, it's good. It runs on three AA batteries. The Vizio itself has an SD card slot. See that there? Which is a nice added feature on drones these days. And you start and stop it by the app, and it does start and stop. Well, it records. It didn't. I had no issue with it recording and saving the files. None at all. Worked perfectly. Worked flawlessly. So let's just, so let's power it up. So you've got on and off switch underneath here. On and off switch on your controller. And in time on a tradition, up and down on your throttle to bind it. So there you go. So it's connected, as you can see. So let's connect it to the app. So the app it runs on is XSW, oh, horrendous glare today. XSW UFO. And we'll just connect it to the Wi-Fi settings first. And they got Wi-Fi 720. This is the one we're going to connect it to. Click on the app. Well, there you go. Very quick connection. Let's check what the lag's like. not horrendous, it's not bad at all actually. So, when I've flown this, you have no issue with the app at all. So the app doesn't lose, doesn't lose connection, it doesn't break up, I had no, no issue with it freezing, so I'd have to give that a massive plus. I really do like this, it flies really, really nice, it's fast in mode, in speed mode 3, in mode 1 it's a bit docile, so if you're a beginner, yeah, definitely fly it in mode one to have a go, but you'll soon be flicking it into two because it is docile, its turn rate is very slow. And if you bank turn it, you're going to struggle a little bit with bank turns in speed mode one. In speed mode two, it's much better. Three mode three, great. And the great thing about the Vizio bro, is when you have it in speed mode three and you come to a turn, it turns nicely. A lot of these cheaper drones, when you've got it in speed mode three and you want to do a bank turn, it'll drop. This doesn't. It doesn't have, it doesn't do any of this, it just turns nicely. So a massive plus point. Because of the the um, distance you can get on the control, which is about 70-80 metres, I've not tried it any further, 
I'd highly recommend this drone and because of the flight time. I hadn't got one before. Do I prefer it to the original Vizio? No, I probably don't because I, I like flying the original Vizio with no altitude hold and flying it on my jumper. But for an altitude hold drone, fantastic. I picked this up for around £32 because it has the lower resolution camera because I wasn't bothered about the camera. Uh, I bought it to review and have a play with and, I re and uh, I'm not really bothered about the camera on the on these type of drones so I built the cheaper one. I think you can buy it's £45 I think I've seen it for the 1080p camera and it might be worth doing. Certainly look, look at some other reviews to see what it's like on the camera but what I can tell you is I've reviewed this on the basis I bought it and whether it's worth the money yes it is is it a good flyer yes it is is it going to teach you to fly if you're a beginner yes it's very stable very smooth and you'll see from the video so I'm going to leave you with a video of me flying it outside you'll see me flying it around I'm in speed mode two or three most of the flight and I'll also have in picture in picture of the app sorry not the app of the footage from the SD card. Doesn't come with an SD card by the way so you need to buy your own and obviously it doesn't come with controllers for the battery. Everything else is in the pack. Charge time was about an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, I recommend it. So, enjoy! Big thumbs up for me. Have a great day.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching